Welcome to Engineering Marvel, where we take you on an incredible journey through the world of engineering and design. Today, we're exploring one of the most breathtaking and awe-inspiring structures in the world, the Eiffel Tower. From its striking height and iconic silhouette to its revolutionary construction techniques and lasting impact on the world, the Eiffel Tower has captured the hearts and minds of people around the globe for over a century. And we're here to uncover the amazing story of this engineering marvel. From its origins as a temporary structure for a world fair, to its enduring legacy as a symbol of human ingenuity and achievement. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an unforgettable adventure through the history of the Eiffel Tower. Before we dive into the engineering and design of the Eiffel Tower, let's take a step back and explore the fascinating history of this iconic structure. When the Eiffel Tower was first being built, there were mixed reactions from the public. Some people were in awe of the tower's height and unique design, recognizing it as a feat of engineering and an impressive addition to the Parisian skyline. Others, however, were not so enamored, viewing the tower as an eyesore and a waste of money. In fact, there was a group of prominent artists, writers, and intellectuals who vehemently opposed the construction of the tower, calling it a metal asparagus and a gigantic black smokestack. They even signed a petition against the tower, which was published in a Parisian newspaper. However, their efforts were in vain as the tower supporters ultimately prevailed, and the Eiffel Tower was completed in time for the 1889 World's Fair. Now let's talk about its construction. Gustave Eiffel, a renowned French engineer, conceived the idea of the tower as a temporary structure for the 1889 World's Fair. Eiffel was fascinated with the idea of building a structure that would demonstrate the technological and artistic prowess of France to the world. Its construction required the use of innovative techniques and materials. Gustave Eiffel and his team designed the tower to be strong, durable, and lightweight, using wrought iron latticework to achieve these objectives. The Eiffel Tower is made of a lattice structure, which means it is made up of a series of diagonals, slanted pieces, horizontal bars, and vertical posts. These pieces were assembled on the ground and then lifted up into position using hydraulic jacks. The tower was constructed using a method known as prefabrication, where the individual components of the tower were manufactured off-site and then assembled on-site. This method allowed for greater precision and efficiency in construction, as well as reducing the risk of on-site accidents. They started by building the bottom section of the tower, and then they added on the next section on top of that. They kept building up the tower, section by section, until they got to the very top. The lattice structure of the Eiffel Tower was a very innovative design for its time. It allowed the tower to be both strong and lightweight. It was also designed to be able to withstand strong winds, which are common in Paris. It took two years, two months, and five days to completely build the whole structure. Interestingly, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 40 years, until the Chrysler Building was constructed in New York City. The upper level of the tower, which is accessible by elevator or stairs, was the most challenging part to build due to its height and exposure to the elements. In present time, the Eiffel Tower has multiple elevators that transport visitors up to its different levels. These elevators are an important part of the tower's design, as they allow people to quickly and easily reach the top. The first elevator was installed in the tower in 1889 and was powered by a hydraulic system. Today, there are several elevators that run on an electric system that are regularly updated to ensure their safety and efficiency. The elevators travel up the tower at a speed of about 5 meters per second, or 18 kilometers per hour. The ride to the top takes just a few minutes, depending on which level you're going to. One of the most famous elevators in the Eiffel Tower is the glass-walled elevator on the south pillar. This elevator was installed in 1983 and provides a stunning view of the city as you ascend the tower. The elevators in the Eiffel Tower are a crucial part of the tower's design, allowing people from all over the world to enjoy its stunning views and impressive engineering. Now, let's shift our focus to the topic of the Eiffel Tower's structural analysis. The Eiffel Tower is a tall and impressive structure that is still standing today because of its strong design. The tower has four curved legs that slant inward and get thinner towards the top. This shape helps distribute the weight of the tower evenly so it doesn't tip over in strong winds. The tower also has many diagonal supports, which are crisscrossing beams that connect the legs. These supports make the tower even stronger by helping it resist sideways forces that could make it wobble. 
Another cool thing about the Eiffel Tower's design is that it gets thinner as it gets taller. This shape makes the tower more stable in windy weather because it doesn't catch as much wind. Finally, the tower's lattice structure, which we discussed earlier, was also an important factor in its stability and durability. The lattice structure allowed for a stronger and lighter tower than traditional solid structures, making it more resistant to wind and other forces. But the story of the Eiffel Tower doesn't end with its completion. Let's look at its lasting legacy. Eiffel Tower's legacy goes far beyond its initial purpose as a temporary structure for the 1889 World's Fair. Over the years, it has become a beloved symbol of Paris, attracting millions of visitors from around the world. As a tourist destination, the tower is a significant source of revenue for the city, contributing to the local economy and supporting jobs in the hospitality and tourism industries. It has also been the site of numerous cultural and historical events, including the annual Bastille Day fireworks display. The Eiffel Tower's impact extends beyond Paris and the field of engineering. During World War II, the tower played a crucial role in aiding the Allied forces. It was used as a radio communication center and relay station, intercepting German messages and transmitting critical intelligence to the Allies. The tower's value as a communications hub was not lost on the Germans, who were aware of its strategic importance and made several attempts to destroy it. However, their efforts were unsuccessful, and the tower remained standing throughout the war, a testament to its structural integrity and durability. In addition to its economic and cultural impact, the tower's innovative design and construction techniques have inspired countless architects and engineers, and its success has paved the way for other iconic structures, such as the Empire State Building and the Burj Khalifa. Besides its historical and cultural significance, the Eiffel Tower is also known for its romantic allure. It has become a popular destination for couples, with many proposals taking place at the top of the tower each year. In fact, it is estimated that there are thousands of marriage proposals that take place at the Eiffel Tower annually, making it one of the most popular spots in the world to pop the question. The tower's popularity as a romantic destination has only added to its legacy and impact, cementing its status as an enduring symbol of love and romance. Its innovative engineering and design, along with its cultural and historical significance, contribute to inspire and captivate people from all over the world. In conclusion, the Eiffel Tower is a remarkable achievement of engineering and design and has left an indelible mark on the world. From its origins as a temporary structure for the 1889 World's Fair to its present-day status as a beloved icon of Paris, the tower has captured the imagination of millions of people over the years. With its towering height, intricate lattice structure, and breathtaking views, the Eiffel Tower continues to fascinate and inspire people from all walks of life. Whether you are an engineer, a history buff, or simply someone who loves a good love story, the Eiffel Tower has something to offer. Its legacy and impact will continue to be felt for generations to come, and it is truly a testament to the power of human ingenuity and creativity. As Gustav Eiffel himself once said, the Eiffel Tower is the offspring of the engineer's thought and the artist's inspiration. And if you enjoyed learning about the Eiffel Tower and other engineering marvels, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Engineering Marvels for more fascinating stories and insights into the world of engineering. And do comment the next topic you want a video on. Thank you for watching.